So now we will fill an array of integers and calculate the sum and the product of its elements. So let's make the array. It is an array of integers. Let's call it ARR and let's suppose it has five elements. So to fill this array, we need to use a loop. So I'm going to use a for loop and we start with i equals zero because the index of the first element is zero. And this should work up until i is equal to four. So i is less than five. Then we increment i. In this loop, we read the elements of the array. So we are reading integers and we will store our integer in array sub i. So in the first iteration, we are reading array sub zero. In the second iteration, we are reading array sub one. And this will continue until we read array sub four. Then i will be incremented and i will not be less than five and you will get out of the loop. So this over here is how we fill our array. Now let's calculate the sum of the elements inside the array and also the product. So let's define this variable sum is equal to zero and also the product will be equal to one. Now let's iterate over the elements of the array. So int i equals zero, i is less than five and i plus plus. And inside this loop, we will add each element to our variable sum. So sum plus equals array sub i and the product times equal array sub i. So this is how we will calculate the sum and the product and let's print them. So printf person d person d sum product. And this is it for this question. So let's run the program. Let's fill the array. One, two, three, four, five, press enter. So the sum of these elements is 15 and the product is 120. And this is correct. Now let's make a function that takes an array and fills it. So this function will not return anything. So its type is void and let's call it fill array. This function should take an array. So an array of integers just like this. And it also should take the size of the array. So int n. Inside this function, we will write the same code over here. So let's copy the code and paste it over here. Now we will start from zero and i will be less than n. And we are reading the elements of the array. And as we said before, arrays are passed by reference. So if we fill the array in this function, it will be modified inside the main function. So let's use this function. So fill array, we will give it the name of our array or the address of the first element and the size. So in this case, the size is five. Let's run the program again, give the same example. So one, two, three, four, five, and we get the correct answer. I will comment this line of code and I will run the program again. And as you can see, we already have some garbage values in our array, as we said before. So let's see how can we initialize all of the elements of this array to be equal to zero. We do it like this, equal empty braces. Now, as you can see, the sum is zero and the product is zero because all the elements were initialized to be equal to zero. So this is it for this video and I'll see you in the next one.